just as much as you learn your craft and know what you're talking about and, and what you do, you need to really research them and figure out what they do and what their priorities are. Listen guys, if you're going to apply for a grant, do yourself a favor, go meet the funding organization. Be concise, to the point, and answer the question directly. I know everyone out there has a lot to say, but remember that the funder is receiving 50, 100 grant applications that they have to read through. So you want to keep it short, keep it direct, and remember, read the question carefully and answer it. And stay away from getting too big with ideas, being really clear and concise, and sticking to your key messages is definitely the best way uh, to be successful in grant writing. So specifically in terms of theatre, if you've never written a grant, uh, definitely get involved with some people that already have. One important thing to keep in mind when you're writing grants is to be able to show the funder how you're going to evaluate the project throughout the entire project. Okay. Make sure to get everything in on time. That's the grant application, your receipts, your reporting, all that stuff. Get it in on time because that will really, really determine your next grant coming up. My number one tip is call the officers or the office of the granting agency you wish to, uh, to talk to um, because it's much easier to talk to a real person and get answers than it is to find it off the page. Once you figure out that you are eligible, make it really easy for us, which makes it easy for you, by highlighting how you hit all of the funding priorities. My number one tip for grant writing if you're applying to an Arts Council is to speak from your own voice, um, not to speak from uh, an imagined formal or more authoritative voice, but just your own. If you're applying as an individual, say I. If you're applying as part of a group, say we. My biggest tip is um, when you write your grant application, don't assume we know what you're talking about. It's really important that you really tell us your story, give us the context of your, of your organization, of your community, of, of, of where you come from. Please, when you develop your work plan and your activities, make sure they match the budget. They should correlate. So whatever you're putting out in your activity and work plan, it should be reflected in the budget. We look at those and when they don't connect to each other, it just doesn't make sense. It really is significant to show all your in-kind contributions in your budget and talk about them in your proposal because it really shows community-based support for what it is that you're doing. So when you're speaking about a donation, that generally refers to money or a monetary contribution to your project or your initiative, whereas an in-kind contribution generally refers to goods and services that are contributed towards your project. One thing that absolutely irritates me, and I think all grants officers would agree, is when your budgets don't balance. So before you submit your application, make sure that you add up your uh, revenue and your expenses, get out a calculator, get Excel, do something, but make sure that all of the numbers on your revenue side and all the numbers on your expense side balance and they are the same number. If you do that, I'll be happy and so will every other grants officer. Hi, my name is Margot Charlton and I'm a grants officer at the Toronto Arts Council. And I have three short tips for you and they all begin with C, competition, clarity and curiosity. Remember when you're applying to an Arts Council, it's a competition, so you must put your best foot forward. Make sure what you put down on the paper is really clear and hand it off to someone else to read to see if they understand what, you're, what you want to do. And finally, remember that you are applying to an Arts Council and the people who will be reading it and making a decision about your grant are artists and they are curious artists, so make sure you talk about your art form, what's driving you, the aesthetics, what's important to you. Remember, you're talking about art.